If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Jmeter series. In this season 5 episode 2, we are going to deep dive into Jmeter plugins. Jmeter plugins extends the functionality of Jmeter. In some use cases, you will not be able to fulfill the need of the core features of Jmeter. That is why you need to rely on Jmeter plugins. It's a community driven effort. Right now there are 85 plugins are available in the repository. And if you search in the public repository such as GitHub or GitLab, you will also get more plugins because some of the developers, they don't publish it in the plugins manager. They just keep it in the repository. So if you do a quick search, you'll be able to get more plugins for Jmeter. You have to visit pluginsmanager.org then you have to download a jar file and keep it under library slash ext folder. Then you have to restart your Jmeter and after the restart you will be able to see the icon at the top right corner and if you click on that icon you will get the plugins manager like this. By default there are totally three tabs installed plugins, available plugins and upgrades. By default it will install the FTP protocol support, HTTP protocol support etc. And if you click on available plugins, you can do a quick search and install the relevant plugins for you. And in the upgrades tab, you'll be able to see the upgrades are present or not for the installed plugins. You have to just check the box and you have to hit the apply changes and restart Jmeter. This button at the bottom right corner and Jmeter will download the relevant jars and then it will keep it in your relevant folder. Sometimes if you are not able to launch the plugins manager, then it might be the proxy issue. You have to launch Jmeter as a proxy by sending these commands, particularly if you are in a corporate network, because by default your corporate firewall will block the downloads. So you have to send this information to launch it as a proxy. It is also possible to serve the internal developed plugins using the repository. So you have to host the repository somewhere in your uh, network. Then uh, you have to add that uh, the full path in the jmeter.properties uh, report address like this. Then you'll be able to serve the internally developed plugins using the plugins manager. So you have to follow the, uh, the format of the repository. It's a JSON uh, format. Once you have the valid JSON file, plugins manager will be able to serve the plugins internally from your network. It is also possible to serve the plugins from multiple sources. You have to separate the address by a semicolon. So these are the plugins, the top 20 plugins by popularity. The first plugin is the plugins manager itself and custom thread groups, three basic graphs, perform and dummy sampler takes the next four spots. So it is not important to download every plugin from the plugins manager. Uh, it's good to uh, have whatever is relevant to you and also make sure you are not violating any policy because some of the corporates they don't want to download the external jars because of the security reason and their internal policies so explain the business case to the manager then get an approval then download the relevant jars and do not install too many plugins and always use the latest version by default plugins manager sends the anonymous usage information so you want to disable that, you have to add the report.send status equals false in the jmeter.properties file and you have to restart your jmeter. Now let's see a quick demo of how to navigate in and around plugins manager in jmeter. I have already downloaded the plugins manager and I have kept the jar file in the library slash ext folder. And if you see the top right corner, you will get this icon and just click on it and you will get the plugins manager. So right now I have installed three basic graphs, five additional graphs, auto stop listener and dummy sampler. So these four plugins I have installed. And if you go to uh, plugins, uh, available plugins, you will be able to see the uh, remaining plugins. Now let us install a simple plugin called uh, custom thread groups. So just check this box and you can see the relevant information on the right side. And just to click on the apply changes and restart Jmeter. This will download the relevant jars and then it will restart Jmeter for you. Jmeter has been restarted now. Now let us go to uh, the test plan, right click, add and if you go to listeners, you will be able to see the 
plugins whatever we have installed uh, we will be able to see the options here and if you go to jmeter uh, dot properties file uh, i have mentioned the report dot send stats is equal to false so i don't uh, send the anonymous usage to the backend so that's it guys on my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and feel free to go to my next tutorial thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel